The book of Abraham narrates the life of the biblical patriarch in a first-person autobiographical voice. The book begins, In the land of the Chaldeans, in the residence of my fathers, I, Abraham, saw that it was needful for me to obtain another place of residence. This first-person voice continues throughout the text as if Abraham himself was writing. When the book of Abraham was published in 1842, no other texts from a similar time and place were known. The book of Abraham was unique in that respect. In the last nearly 200 years, archaeology has uncovered more texts that, can, that we can compare with the book of Abraham. One such ancient text, discovered in 1939, contains strikingly similar features with the book of Abraham. It, too, is an autobiography in that it narrates a story in the first person. It speaks of a ruler named Idrimi, who lived in ancient Syria, which is in the vicinity of one very plausible candidate for Abraham's homeland, not long after the likely time period of Abraham. Idrimi's autobiography compares well with Abraham's autobiography in both subject and form, explains scholar John Gee, even though Idrimi's autobiography dates about 200 years later. Although Idrimi's text is often called an autobiography, this term may be somewhat misleading. For instance, we do not know if such ancient autobiographical texts were written by the individuals themselves, dictated to scribes, or ghostwritten by scribes. While it is unlikely that Idrimi carved the words on his statue, he may have been directly responsible for the content of the text. This might similarly be the case with the book of Abraham. The parallels between Abraham's autobiography and Idrimi's autobiography include the following. Both report their journeys through Canaan. Both emphasize that their travel to their new residence was the result of divine inspiration. Both refer back to promises made to their ancestors for whom they have records. Both describe that they worship the way that their fathers did. Both deal in covenants. The two texts even open in very similar ways. The parallels between these two texts and other considerations led Guy to conclude that the Book of Abraham belongs to the same specific literary tradition as Idrimi's autobiography. This naturally raises the question, how did Joseph Smith manage to publish in the Book of Abraham a story that closely matched a Middle Bronze Age Syrian autobiography that would not be discovered for nearly a hundred years? The most plausible explanation is that the Book of Abraham belongs to that time period, genre of literature, and part of the world.